Hello, <laughs> this is Jerem6101 and... Copycat. And this is Imaginary Achievements. We're on number 17 now. What's up, everybody, by the way? This is <laughs> Cover Blown. Oh, I did a weird hello. That's right. Uh, this one, like we said, we were going to do Splinter Cell Blacklist. This one was suggested by Oscar Barr on YouTube. Thank you. Yeah, he. Uh, I got a lot of good suggestions for this one, but this one got a lot of likes, so... We appreciate it. Mm-hmm. Uh, to do this one, you have to play any level in Splinter Cell Blacklist on Perfectionist Difficulty. And you are not allowed to use cover. That's right. So you can hide behind walls and things, but you cannot... You can stand behind them. Well, well you, just, you, can't, you can't, like... No, you say you can hide behind. Well, you, you can, but you just can't... Press up against yeah. them. Yeah. Yeah, you can't push the B button, basically, which is the cover button. Boom. Um, I highly recommend beating the campaign at least once. I don't know if you have to beat it to unlock perfectionist difficulty. I don't recall, but... It gets you better weapons, which yeah, is helpful. you can spend money. You know, everything costs money. And also, if you beat all of, uh, I forget whose missions is it, but it unlocks... I think it's Charlie. You get, like, this combat suit, so you can take a lot of damage. You'll probably want that. You can Seems still, fair. You can be sneaky about it. You can try. Sneaky, sneaky. But, you know, without taking cover, it's difficult. Um, can you crouch? Yes, you are allowed to crouch. Um, but, you know, so you can hide behind this stuff, but you just can't press up against it, which uh, in a may combat not, situation is not a good thing. Yeah, that may or may not actually protect you. Yeah, and, like, you know, people can... I don't know. It, it just makes it a little bit... It takes out a big mechanic of the game. It makes it more difficult. But... Hence the reason that it's a, an imaginary achievement. Indeed. I didn't, I didn't think it was super difficult if you had the right gear. I, I made it worth 20 gamer score. That seems It's reasonable. fair. It's not, you know, because, you know, you have to beat a whole level. And I always I always feel like there are some games that underscore things. Like and, like Batman? <laughs> yes. And it's just, like, really annoying. Like, that was only 10 gamer score and it took, what was it, 20 minutes? Yeah, the so, one, one achievement in Batman, yeah. It, so I think 20 is a... Valid number. Beating Deathstroke without getting hit is difficult. Yeah. I watched several times. So uh, this is the end of the uh, Insurgent Stronghold level that I was playing. Uh, it's just a long run here. You about to say something? Oh, yes. Well, you, you had said it and told me about it. And before we forget, there's a part where you automatically crouch. Yeah, there's a and part that doesn't count. where you use your tri-rotor in this level where you uh, kind of in a cutscene scenario press up, like go into cover. Uh, just hop out of that as soon as it happens. It doesn't count if you didn't actually push the button. But when the level ends, you'll get your imaginary achievement. So wait for the stats to pop up. There's my ghost stats. And Oof. there you go. Cover blown. Congratulations. So, like we said, next week, imaginary achievement is going to be in Batman Arkham Origins, which I am playing through right now. And it looks awesome. I'm really, I'm really impressed. So please comment below or go to the group page on Achievement Hunter. And two weeks from now, Cat. The game is going to be Star Wars. Star Wars Battlefront. So That's either Battlefront fun. One or Battlefront Two. Yeah, it's, it's, it's <laughs> kind of weird. Uh, so yeah, send me your suggestions for those and for Batman Arkham Origins, and I'll be watching and picking awesome ones. See thing. you later. Yeah.